Hiya, welcome back to Mulberry Junction. Today what I'm going to be doing is putting a three-way point in at the station throat area, um, which will bring make the station have four platforms. When I first came into the garage from the loft, I had four platforms, but then decided to do away with one of the platforms, which is against the back wall side. But I'm going to redo that one. Um, so yeah, we'll be adding a, a three-way point, like I said, at the station throat form of that. Uh, the other thing that I've done is two of the VI trains, or VI trains class 47s, and one of the Backman ones, I'm renumbering. Uh, re reason being is with having the Transpennine stock. Um, this one, uh, 47, well it was 47401. I'm going to renumber this one to 47407. The Batman one was 47436. Renumbering that one to 47434. And I'm going to get the nameplates tried in Huddersfield for that one. And the other VI train is 47401, is this one. I'm going to renumber this one to 47443. And keep it to the nameplate, which is northeastern. So, 47434 was one of the transparent locos, same as 443. So, they'll go with 47444, which is named University of Nottingham, and 47475, which is the one that's in the provincial livery for the transpennine sets. So, those four locos will be for the transpennine. 47407 I'm going to do as it was based at the Immingham shed but sort of hung around Holbeck all the time and use that with the Mark II blue grey stock uh, so at the time it used to do the Settle Carlisle line in that late, yeah, sorry, very early 1998 era uh, along with 406 and 413 but I'm just going to have 407 so next Oh, I'm going to put the video on pause in a second uh, show you what I mean with these platforms and just carry on with the video then so I'll just put it on pause for a moment so what I'm rattling on about is I'm going to add a, a platform over here um, which, like I said I had it before so I'm going to redo that one I'm going to have it as concrete sleeper track to, to match the rest of the the layout on the main line. The other reason for doing it as well is so I can have a full rake of uh, Mark IV stock. At the moment the Mark IV rake has got four standard class coaches, two first and the Buffy car, whereas it should actually have five standard class coaches. Um, same with the HST set. Just move the 91 forward a little bit to an pause for a second there. Just put it back in. So this will show you where the end of the platform is going to be. So I've added the extra Mark IV coach. So the end of platform one and two will end up being about here. I'm going to be adding the three-way point here where this point is now. I'm going to take that point out and add this three three-way point in there. So that will go there, so I can still get into, well this will be now platform 2, so I'll be able to get into platform 1 from there, platform 2 for this one, then over this side for platform 3 and 4. Like I said, it'll be concrete track, but I've not got any more concrete track sleeper, sleeper stuff at the moment. So I'll just show you with the wooden sleeper one, so it go around there into platform 1. 
So a platform running to can hold full length HST sets and Mark IV sets. I've installed the plat um, the the point for going into the platform one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it with my HST and then run the Mark IV set out after, so just to make sure it'll go into the platform. So that's as far as the HST goes. Um, there's still another few inches at the top end at the terminus part of the station. So it, it will fit in once I put the new concrete track down um, later on. So I should change point over to run the class 91 out. So I'll run the 91 out now. It seems to be working okay, um, so hopefully on the next update with this platform, platform number one, that'll be when they've got con concrete track down rather than these old wooden sleeper style ones.